suck on my balls and kiss my ass and uh, oh. Uh, uh, do I even need to ask? Uh, you you probably shouldn't. So, you're taking a shit uh -huh. on my set. Yeah, but I'm also I'm also reading a book. Look, don't you smart mouth me, okay? Get off the toilet. Stop reading about how to make the perfect pot. Oh wait, you're actually reading up on today's cooking episode. Yeah. How convenient. I cannot stress enough, Zach, how much you drive me crazy. Hey, <clears throat> hey, everybody, welcome. Welcome everybody's favorite chef, Chef Zach. Let's give a round of applause. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay. Woo! All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So welcome. Welcome, Zach, uh, to the show. Uh, what, do you, what do you have for us this week, uh, um, Mr. Chef Man? Well, today we are going to be making the perfect pie. I've done this quite, quite, quite a few times before in the past. Uh, I think I've perfected my pie making skills. Uh, though it is all just whipped cream, it's not actually an actual pie, but you know. It, so you it could works. say it's a cream pie. So, you're here to create the perfect pie for the us. How, what does that entail? Pie. Take us through the steps, uh, all the way from uh, where you got the whipped cream, uh, all the way to the end of the process. Just take us through it, step by step. What are we going to do today to make the perfect pie? All right, well, today we are going to be using a special ingredient uh, to actually get the whipped cream. So that ingredient is this fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher, huh? Yeah, a fire extinguisher. Check it out. A fire extinguisher, See, huh? it's not exactly about taste, but it's about presentation. And look at that. It, lo it looks just like whipped cream. No one will be able to tell it's not actually whipped cream. Yeah, not until they bite into it, right? Well, oh wait, people are actually going to be eating this? So, what's the next step? What else are we uh, going to be adding okay, to our so, lovely pie? Obviously, uh, we're going to need some, uh, uh, you know, uh, extra ingredients, toppings, if you will. Of course. Uh, so here we go. Let's, we're just gonna look for some. Uh, you know, I don't actually, you know, prepare this stuff uh, before I come onto the show. I just kind of, you know, find whatever we have laying around. You know, <laughs> that's definitely not what the viewers want to hear, Zach. Isn't that right, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So today, uh, our ingredients are going to be this watermelon. Okay. Uh, this boot. You know, hashtag free the boot. And uh, this uh, feminist triggerer. Oh, okay, so perfect. What we have here for our, our ingredients is the fire extinguisher, the boot, the watermelon, and the uh, the Uber driver's worst nightmare. Yeah, the feminist triggerer. Oh, and uh, I guess we can use that uh, that infant child over there. The dead babe. Perfect. That's perfect. Well, this is going to be the best pie of it all is. time, hands it down. Is. This is going to be great. Perfect. Oh, yes. All right, so what are the next steps? To combine these ingredients into one delicious pie, Zach. What do we do next? Well, we're going to need to get ourselves a plate. Of course. <laughs> you okay. you broke the plate. You fucking... Well, joke's on you. That wasn't the plate. <laughs> uh, let's use... There we go. That looks that looks just delightful. That looks perfectly safe and fine. Now remember, if you want to follow along with us at home, you uh, are certainly encouraged to do so. Just make sure that if you're going to use the saw blade as your as your plate, that it's uh, uh, sharpened at the very least, so that uh, when it hits you as it explodes out of the oven from mm -hmm. our combination of ingredients, mm -hmm. that it cuts your head off in one fell swoop rather than sticking into your neck, causing a very painful, awful, bloody, and uh, horrible sounding death. Okay, so now that we've got our plate out, what what comes next? Well, Robin, uh, we are going to have to put it all on the plate. Actually, Ooh. first off, we need to mix it all together. So uh, all you got to do is put your watermelon into the bowl like so. Take Perfect. your take your boot, your uh, very old dirty boot that's been used for quite a bit of construction purposes. What you want to do is you want to just kind of you know just very very firmly very. For very firmly, very firmly use the boot to smush the watermelon into multiple pieces. And while we mix these all together, why don't we just sort of uh, speed ahead here to the final product so that we can put it on that plate, huh?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we now have all of the ingredients put together, and uh, we have the final product right under this desk right here. So well, ready, let's let's see you, that mixture, Zach. Let's see what we ready? gotta bake. Here we go. And there you go. Doesn't that Beautiful. just look absolutely Beautiful. Uh, Doesn't that just look delicious? It, it's yep, a perfect, that looks perfect. It's a perfect meal. And you see, uh, there's actually some uh, chocolate pudding still left over uh, in the, uh, the 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 pie. It That's certainly looks like a beautiful pie. A big, a big, great, beautiful pie. Now you might be asking yourself, what exactly could this this whole this whole little uh, pie be used for? Well, it's great for birthdays, weddings. Uh, you know, most weddings do cakes, but you know that's boring. It's too mainstream. Get yourself very, a pie. very too mainstream. Do something different, people. Be and, different. Uh, here's something you can do as a uh, as a little uh, optional step. Just take your pie right over to some ovens over here. Okay. Now, of course, if you want to follow along at this point, you will have to have three ovens. Otherwise, it will not work properly. Oh, yeah, because uh, it's quite a big pie. You have to make sure that every every piece has to, is, is thoroughly cooked. And then just turn the burners on all of the ovens at once. And Beautiful. there you have it. There you have it. It's a nice cooked pie uh, just ready to be <clears throat> ready to be scrum, scrum, scrumbled up. Scrum diddly umptious. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for this episode of What's Cooking Good Looking, featuring the admirable Chef Zach. Uh, until next week, when we uh, bring him on for another uh, exciting installment where we uh, we cook uh, chicken noodle soup, I guess you should uh, go check out his website and buy all of his cookbooks, because it's, uh, uh, I, I need a new job. Yeah, I kind of... Yeah, this, this, this job really sucks the life out of you. It does. We just cooked... A wheelbarrow. Yeah, you got the right idea. He's he's got the right idea. Perfect. I'll see you next time, folks. That's, oh that my works. god! <laughs> that works! It's lit now! No! <sighs> oh my god, you are the fucking worst. This is the worst toilet ever.